Yeah, real and live from Studio 13 here in Dublin. My name is Howard Myers. This is Irish Country Music Radio. Shut Up Heart was uh, the first uh, real success for Jerry Guthrie after he met with the great Henry McMahon. And uh, enough from me. Let the man himself tell you all about it. Because we have live on air now, Jerry Guthrie. Jerry, are you there? Hi, Howard. How's everything? I'm doing great, Jerry. How's yourself? A night off tonight? Absolutely, Monday night is a, it's a great night of the week because you kind of you have eighty percent of them off, and it's uh, it's one we always look forward to. It's a great night to be off because it's a, it's, a, it's a rough night on the road, though. Uh, money in the door, so it's great to be off, you know. You were down in Monastreden last night, were you? Yeah. We were down in the hills of last night, a great Sunday night dance, and has been a great venue for a long time. We, last night was no exception; we had, we had a very good one, so. It's, uh, it's great to have uh, put the feet up for a night. Excellent stuff, excellent stuff. Now, listen, Jerry. Um, my my information tells me you began playing at the age of 15 with a band called The New Blues, is that right? Yeah, I started uh, locally here, back at home when I was in school. I was in secondary school at the time. There was a local group that were doing weddings and functions and all that kind of stuff, and I got the job playing guitar with them and, and singing a few songs and went on from there to, to, to a couple of different wedding bands that were working around the area and, and doing pubs and functions and everything that was going, I suppose, around my own. That, that was the start of it all, really. Mm. Yeah, and then you joined up with uh, Sandy Kelly. That was your first country gig, was it? Sandy Kelly's band? It, it was. It was my first gig with, with a big touring band, mm. I suppose. I got the job playing lead guitar. Sandy was... Uh, we were doing a show at the time called uh, The Patsy Klein Story was one of them, and there was another one called A Night at the Opry, which was kind of, um, which was based on A Night at the Grand Ole Opry with the songs of all of them. Um, a few different singers like uh, Tammy Winnett and Patsy Klein and Dolly Parton, a few different ones. And, then, and they were going to England at the time for, for a long tour, and I got offered the job playing the guitar in the band, and I took it. I was delighted. I was just out of school, fresh out of secondary school, and I couldn't believe me luck really getting, getting the gig, you know, so I was, uh, I was over the moon. Every young man's dream, every young guitarist's uh, dream. Absolutely, I had to play with people and to play with really experienced people that, you know, that can teach you things and are willing to teach you things. It's, uh, it was a great break to get at that age. And then you moved on to uh, people like Martin Cuff, Sean Cuddy, Louise Morrissey. That's right, yeah. I went from doing that then into dance bands. and The first kind of that, that band that was doing the dance scene that I worked with was Martin Cuff's band, who at the time, he was uh, going through a really successful period. He's actually back again now on the road and doing really well. But Martin was at the top of his game that time uh, with, with his country band, and I got playing guitar and went from there to Sean Cuddy and then on to Louise Morrissey for a couple of years. That's right. And then uh, after that, then you decided. What made you decide to, to go out on your own? Was it just oh, was an ambition of yours to, to have your own band? Yeah. It's funny, when I, when I was with Louise Morrissey, it was, um, which was a great gig too to get, you know, Louise so it's such a great singer and she's so well known you know and when I had the gig I just decided I was going to give up travelling with the band and I was going to do a one man show that was my plan you know mm -hmm. locally in, in my own was common go it was like or whatever and uh, I was doing the one man thing for three or four years and I was playing one night in, in the Mac William Park in Clare Morris and I happened to meet with Henry McMahon who was managing Jimmy Buckley at the time and uh, Jimmy was playing in the function room and I was playing in the bar doing the one man thing and we got chatting and one thing led to another and he was talking about how the scene needed new people, do you know what I mean? And uh, how, how he had a couple of songs written and so one thing led to another and he gave me a couple of songs and before I knew where we were, we were planning to put a band together and get on the road. And how long ago was that, Jerry? How long ago was it? About two, two and a half years now, is it? Yeah, yeah, it's been nearly three years now, Howard, yeah, believe it or not. Time flies, you know, when you're at this crack of flies, anyway, but... Uh, uh, that, that's exactly how it happened and we went in the first song we recorded was the one you just played was Shut Up Heart mm -hmm. uh, which was a, it was a good song it was a great opener you know because it has everything it's a good lively piece and it's catchy you know and then we did another one that Henry had written that he gave me uh, which was a great it did really well it was a story song uh, called The Lucky Horseshoe and uh, that was the one that Henry Henry had written and he, he gave it to me and uh, it's kind of the sound that everybody associates with me so of, course, sorry, yeah. of course, the great Henry McMahon needs no introduction from either you or me with, uh, from the main line as he's still around, and I believe he's releasing his own album over the next uh, couple of weeks as well. So let's just take a break and let's listen to Henry's uh, number that he gave to you, The Lucky Horseshoe. <laughs> Well-dressed man, his name was George He 
said, good morning, Smithy, just the man I want to see. Fell in love with the blacksmith who made her pony's shoes. That's Jerry Guthrie, of course, and a lucky horseshoe. That was the uh, song given to him by Henry McMahon, the great Henry McMahon, after that chance meeting, and it catapulted uh, Jerry's career uh, forward. He uh, took to the uh, dance halls of Ireland, touring uh, the many dance halls over the last uh, almost uh, three years to a great success and became one of the young guns of Irish country. Jerry's on the line with us now. Are you still there, Jerry? I'm still here, Alex. He's still there. Now, Jerry, next Tuesday night, you are in Dublin for a very special gig. It's uh, an, a, an event organised by Denise Geddes, and it's called An Evening of Music in Aid of the Citywise Education. Now, Citywise Education is a charity that uh, donates um, to um, underprivileged children in various areas of the country. Um, it's all to do with academic work. Uh, people sign up for the programme and uh, according to the website, people learn to work hard, acquire study habits and develop their academic ambition. But also as part of that, um, they're involved in uh, personal development and it's basically to take people who have little chance or less chance than others and give them a bit of a head start in life. And uh, Citywise have developed facilities in uh, South Hill in Limerick, in Ballymun in Dublin, Georgetown and up there in Bally, uh, Bally in Westmeath, as well as in Belfast. So this uh, gig next uh, Tuesday is in the uh, Louis Fitzgerald Hotel in Newlands Cross. It's called an, an Evening of Music in Aid of Citywise Education. And Jerry is headlining it, um, along with artists such as uh, Daniel Murphy, uh, Kaylee Noble, uh, Frankly Bublé, which is a Bublé tribute, obviously, Liam Geddes as well, um, and my very own Kaylee's there as well, and people who, who know me know Kaylee as well. And uh, Jerry, what do you know about it? You're headlining, it's a dance, is it? It's going to be a great night of music, and uh, people can sit down and watch and listen, and they can get up on dance week. There'll be no uh, strict guidelines about <laughs> dancing or not dancing, but we're hoping that for our part of it, people will get up and have a dance and enjoy it. You know, we're actually coming back, especially from Scotland. We're over there for. We're in Scotland and the UK for two weekends running now. We're coming home especially to do the, the Tuesday night gig in the Louis Fitzgerald on the 19th. So we're really looking forward to what's going to be a great night for a great charity as well, doing a lot of important work around the city, you know. Yeah, how did you get involved with this, Jerry? Were you, were you invited? Uh, well, you invited? Denise, yeah, Denise is organising the whole thing there. She's the, uh, she's the brains behind that whole uh, thing is uh, the old woman and the Nora from from uh, being around Ballina and me off for, for quite a while. She's a hard worker. She, she's working very hard to make this uh, make this happen. So we hope people are going to come out and support it. It's going to be a great night. It is indeed. It'll be a great night. It's next Tuesday night. It's the Louis Fitzgerald Hotel in Newlands Cross. For those who know the uh, the Nace Road there, if you uh, you run down there, there's a, there's a fuel station, there's a, a big restaurant there, Joel's Restaurant, and it's just behind there on the, uh, on the main road, the Newlands Cross Road there. 15 euro admission for all all that talent, you, know, you can't beat it in this day and age. There's uh, nine acts, the MCs are Robbie Kane and Leanne Moore, so uh, if you haven't got tickets, it's okay, you can pay on the door, go on the night. For more information, you can contact Denise Geddes, you can contact her on the internet via Facebook, she has a Facebook site especially for this, and it's called All Kinds of Everything, presenting an evening of music in aid of Citywise Education. That's next Tuesday night, the 19th of November. Now, Jerry, you're over in, uh, yeah, you're over to Scotland uh, this weekend. You're in um, Wick on Friday, which is, you can't get much further than Wick, Jerry. Uh, it's <laughs> way, way up there. And then you move down to Invergordon and you're in the uh, New Inn in Ellen on uh, Sunday night. Is it your first tour of Scotland you've been before? It's not. It's my fourth or fifth tour. I think we did. Um, we did two last year. I think we did two the year before. Which are really Scotland's a great place to go to um, country music, especially up in the north of Scotland, where we're headed. To. Country music is really strong. Thank God. And we're looking forward to getting up. As you were saying, you can't go much further north than Wick. You know, you're right up on on the very north coast of Scotland. There. It's a, it's a long haul up, but we're looking forward to a great night up there. It should be great. And then Invergordon, which has been. Uh, a well-established gig for, for many years is also going to be good and down to Ellen on Sunday night and then they said we're coming back especially for the Tuesday night in Dublin 
So uh, we have a busy weekend ahead of us, but, and then we head back over the following weekend again. Yeah, the following yeah. weekend then on the Thursday, that's uh, Thursday the 21st, you're in uh, the Theatre 7 in Shrewsbury, which is yeah. in uh, Shropshire. Then you head down on the 22nd, you head up the road into Liverpool to a, a hotel I know very well, the Adelphi Hotel for Nathan yeah. Carter's weekend. And then on yeah. the Saturday, you, you head down the M6, down the M1 to Conway's 3. And everybody in London, of course, knows Conway's 3. Yeah, we're looking forward to that weekend. It's going to be really good. The Terrace made is a concert, actually, at Theatre 7. It's uh, the first time we've been in in, in Shrewsbury for, for a concert, so we're looking forward to it. And then Nathan's weekend on the Friday night has been doing really well, so it's going to be it's going to be a powerful night's nice crack. Yeah, we're on first, and then Nathan and his band will be closing up the show. And Saturday, we'll go back to Seamus Moore's place in, in Harrow. So it looks like it's going to be a good weekend, and we, we catch the early boat Sunday morning to get back and play in Wexford Sunday night. So uh, we have a busy week ahead of us, you know, between Scotland and uh, our, our, the Louis Fitzgerald and then back to the UK and back to Wexford. It's a lot of mileage, you know, but we're looking forward to it. It's, uh, it's always good to get to get out of the country for a few days and play in different places, you know. Yeah, you have a busy couple of weeks ahead of you, certainly. Now, just in terms of um, recordings, um, your last album was Good Country Songs. Have you plans for a, a further CD in the future? Well, yeah, yeah well, as you know, the boxer, we released the boxer early in the year. It did really well for the old... Sending our vocal track, we kind of uh, did our own thing with it and, and put it out, and it did really well. And then we have left. He was right, which we we only have it out a few weeks. Our latest single, and we're we're working on actually. I hope to start work on our Christmas single. Or finish our Christmas single, when we get back from England, we hope to have it out in time for this Christmas. So uh, we're looking forward to that. It's, it's a good lively track as well. And then we're we're going to finish a, a new album, Please God, in spring. And uh, have it out on the market probably March or April next year. But it, it takes a lot of time to get it right and to get the songs picked and, and to get them finished the way you want them. So we're gonna we're holding off until springtime to have it out. And we're looking forward to having another album of, of country, good country music. You know. I read on your on your website that um, your influences include Dwayne Eddy, Hank Marvin, uh, two uh, very distinct uh, guitar players there, Merle Haggard, George Jones, Garth Brooks, and others. And your latest single, as you mentioned, Lefty Was Right After All, of course, was a Johnny Paycheck number, a tribute to uh, Lefty Frizzell. Uh, if I may say, I get the impression that you're, kind of, you, you, you're sticking to your country roots. You, 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 you're enjoying country music. You're a, you're a devotee of uh, proper yeah. country, and you're sort of trying to avoid going into this sort of pop country that one or two artists, not that we're knocking it, but uh, of all the artists, I think you're probably more pure country than some. Yeah, well, it's a, it's a funny thing, you know, it is what it is. Like, I mean, we just call Joey Guthrie and his country band, and that's mm -hmm. what we... If people come to see a country band, that's what we're going to give them. And, I mean, there's loads of... The, the good thing about it is, you know, with all the new artists that are coming out, everybody is bringing different things to the to the table. You know what I mean? Like, there's... Everybody's bringing the different... The song, some of the guys are singing songwriters, some of them are playing accordions and playing whatever, you know. And I do our own thing. I play lead in the band, and I... We we try and do all good country music as best we can do it, you know. So that that that's my thing, and I, I plan on sticking to me going for the time being. <laughs> Yeah, well, all I can say to listeners is that I've seen Jerry live on many, many occasions, and he just gets better and better. You see Jerry on stage in front with the guitar, and he's got a, a, a band behind him that are often not mentioned. The bands are often not mentioned, but uh, Jerry's got some fine, one of the finest country musicians in Ireland uh, standing next to him on the stage, and as a combination, they are a truly great country band. So if you get a chance to see uh, Jerry at all, and get along and see him. You'll not be disappointed. We wish you great luck for the future. Thank you for joining us here on Irish Country Music Radio. I'm going to play out with um, your latest single, which, of course, was a Johnny Paycheck number. Lefty was right after all. Thanks, Howard, and uh, we look forward to doing a Dublin Up gig again soon. We, we meet you regularly at different venues around Dublin and around the country, so we look forward to the next one in the Red Cow or Stan Luke or wherever it might be. We'll see you soon, and thanks for all the support. Not a problem, Jerry. Jerry Guthrie, and Lefty was right after all. Thanks, Jerry. Thanks, Howard. Thanks.